Hello, good morning. I hope you are fine. Child of God, in the 4th century AD, that is in, uh, about 300 years after the death of Jesus Christ, uh, Christianity became the official religion of the Empire of Rome. Remember that in those days, the Empire of Rome was like the US of today. It was the headquarters of the world, if you like. So at that time, Constantine built a big church in Rome, which is called St. John's, uh, which was called at the time the Church of the Savior, but of the Holy Savior, but which later became called or known as Lateran Basilica. So that church, which is the Cathedral Church of Rome, is the headquarters, if you like, of the Church of Rome. And because Rome is the headquarters of the Catholic Church all over the world, that church is somehow, if you like, the liturgical headquarters of the church. It's the cathedral of the Pope. So today we celebrate the feast of this big church, this huge cathedral, this temple, if you like, of Catholics. And so it is normal that we take readings that all talk to us about today, about temples, about, about the church, about the building that Christ is constructing. So this is a tradition that we have in the Catholic Church. If you go to every diocese in the world, there's, there's always a cathedral, which is the mother church of all the other churches. And today we celebrate the Pope's mother church. So in today's readings, the Bible reminds us of the importance of the buildings that we call churches or the temples of the Holy Spirit or the temples of God. In the first reading, Ezekiel talks about the fountain that was flowing from the temple of Jerusalem. And this water that flowed from the temple brought about healing, brought about fruitfulness and so many other good things. Just symbolizing for us the great things that come from being in the church or being attached to the church. Remember that the church is first and foremost the body of Christ. So it's important to know that whenever we attach ourselves to Christ himself, we become fruitful, we become blessed. There's so many things that come to us at, at different levels because we see that the water was first at his knee and then to his waist and then to his chest. So God continues to lead us at different levels of abundance. He continues to bless us and increase his blessings in our lives as long as we remain connected to the body of Christ. In the second reading, St. Paul makes this clearer. He says that, the temple that God is building is not that physical temple you are saying. It is you, the individual, you, you and I. So last year, I think two years ago, we all in here in France, we all saw that the Cathedral of Notre Dame in Paris went up in flames and the entire country was in shock. And I think somehow most of the Christian world was in shock. And for good reasons, because whenever a temple is destroyed, it, it, it affects us because that's where God dwells. And in particular, that temple had existed for 800 years. So it was okay. It was normal that it was striking and it was shocking to us. But if we relate this to the readings of it, we find that each human being is the temple of the Holy Spirit. That's what St. Paul tells us in his first letter to the Corinthians chapter 3. Verses 9 to 11 and verses 16 to 17. St. Paul says that you are that temple. Don't forget that you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So in the same words, we're all shocked when the Notre Dame Cathedral was burning. Every time we find a human being being exploited, every human, a human being suffering, a human being being maltreated, we should also be in shock. And in fact, we should be angry and we should do something about it. That's exactly what Jesus did in the Gospel reading of this morning. In the Gospel reading is taken from John chapter 2, from verses 13 to 22. Jesus went to the temple and saw that people were selling and buying in the temple area. Jesus was angry because that was the house of God, first of all. But he was also angry, more so, because these people were exploiting the temples of God. Not the physical temple, but the human beings that were coming to exchange their money there were being were being ripped off, they were being cheated, and that's what got Jesus angry. The Pharisees misunderstood it and they thought that he was angry, even the apostles, because they thought he was angry because they were desecrating the physical temple. And they asked him this question, give us a sign that shows that you have authority to do what you are doing. And then the disciples began to think, oh, zeal for your house will consume me, Lord. You know, they were thinking about the physical temple. But what makes us realize that Jesus was angry not because of the physical temple, but because of the human beings that were being exploited, the temple of the Holy Spirit that was being exploited. It's the answer he gave to them. He said, destroy this temple and I will rebuild it in three days. And he said, and again, of course, he continued to think about the physical temple. They said that taking 46 years of Solomon to build us this temple and here you are telling us that you will rebuild it in three days. And the Bible says that the apostles only understood these words after his resurrection and they then realized that he was talking about the temple that was his own body because he rose from the dead after three days. So child of God, the body of Christ 
It's a temple that blesses us. It's a temple that we belong to. It's a temple that gives ultimate dignity to every child of God. That is why every human being you meet is a moving tabernacle. And we must respect each and every human being. The mighty God bless you today and bless your week, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.